Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keo, and today I wanted to talk about social media. And um, shout out to DJ Miss Kitty. She's a dope DJ out of Toronto, actually Hamilton. And she's a, you know, hip hop head, all around cool person. And she had a post on her Instagram page. And I thought this is definitely something that needs to be expanded upon. Yeah, go subscribe to her Instagram. I'm going to leave a link below. Um, She asked the question, imagine life without social media. And it got me really thinking about how I use social media and does it benefit me or is it a time waster? I think initially for my Instagram, I wanted to post art and interesting angles about DJ gear and that kind of stuff. Like from a different perspective and I was going film noir black and white because I'm a photographer I'm an artist I I just I do crap like that and I kind of got sidetracked and to be honest I don't think that I really follow people in any rhyme or reason most of my subscribers are DJs that I admire or like or somebody who followed me and I follow them back or somebody I've had some kind of interaction with it's all over the place I don't think particularly that I'm using social media to its fullest extent. Uh, I think that's the best way to describe it. I <laughs> I follow people randomly if I like some, it, things too. I don't even care about you know politics or whatever they said about whatever. If I see a post I like and I just stumble upon it, and I'm like, I like that. Cool, I'll follow you. That's pretty much the end of it for me. I may even th- not even think twice about who you are or what you what you're promoting or anything like that. That's that's really what it's come down to. I think most people on social media they're from that blueprint of following random people and there's no rhyme or reason. They just whatever they see, they just follow and that's it. There's a right way and I guess there's a wrong way to use social media, especially from a business perspective. I think technically my Instagram is business, but I don't really use it like that as much. I Every so often I'll post something like about my current mood or what I'm listening to or what I'm doing, but I don't post every day like a lot of people do. YouTube is more of an extension of me about what I think about things and just me, it's like a soapbox. But Instagram is more about art and pictures and status, I guess. So I've I've never really been drawn to Instagram. I just, I go on for a couple minutes every day to see what somebody said or see some new posts, but I don't live on Instagram. Actually, I barely interact with people. A lot of people message me in Instagram, and I talk to those people. But as far as me posting and liking pictures, I don't really do that that much. I just kind of look through for a couple minutes and then read the messages and then go on about my business. I think I spend, as far as social media goes, I definitely spend more time on YouTube than anything else. I don't spend any time on Facebook. My Facebook is basically dead to me. <laughs> I I tried to get rid of it, but I have to keep it because of business reasons. So I was like, oh, I guess I still have Facebook. <laughs> and and the connection between Instagram and stuff like that, but like I don't I don't use Facebook Messenger. I don't I log on Facebook once every 3 months maybe. And that's about it for me. But I think when it comes to social media, I don't I don't use it to validate my existence or try and show off or whatever. I don't I make posts about things I think inter- are interesting to me. And if three people like it, cool. If a thousand people like it, also cool, but whatever. And I think that's the same way for my YouTube channel. I could get more clicks and views if I was trying to be more provocative or actually go at companies for their equipment, but I don't think about it like that. When I make a video 
about DJ Gear. This is my genuine thoughts about it and how it, it relates to me and other DJs who use this stuff, especially the topics I choose to talk about. There's a lot of topics that I talk about that maybe get a hundred views if I'm lucky. And a couple people message me quietly. I'm like, yo, I appreciate that video. But that's the point of the video. The video wasn't to get a million views or whatever. A lot of this stuff is probably my personality. I'm, I would say I'm kind of an introvert. I'm, I'm low key and chill, man. When you, if you meet me in person, I don't talk a lot. I'm, I'm just chill. I'll drink my beer and listen to the conversation. That's just, that's just how I am. I've always been like that. I've talked about it before, but I, I kind of use this YouTube channel to kind of force me to get out of my comfort zone, if you will. I think that regard, social media is effective and good. And I think that's probably why I gravitate towards YouTube more so than Instagram or TikTok or I don't know what else, <laughs> Friendster, I don't, I don't know, Facebook, whatever. Uh, yeah, like, I think that overall, my outlook on life and I think my goals on the platform probably have some kind of bearing about what I do with these things. I think that you definitely have to be built for it, and a lot of people are not. It's very interesting that a lot of people who get success on YouTube or Instagram, or whatever, struggle with the pressure. I have absolute stress every time I have to come up with a video and I can't think of something. Yeah, I, I, my question to you guys, and I'll put this out to you, is like, how are you using social media? Are you using it as a business or are you using it to flaunt or are you just using it to just hang out and chill with some like-minded people? I would say I'm more of the latter. I, I'm just in the cut, just chilling in there. I, I like to be inspired. So I definitely like to see other DJ doing stuff and whether it's DJ mixes or, you know, techniques or whatever. I like, I like seeing that stuff, but generally I just don't use this platform to, to hype myself up or to make myself look bigger than I am. Yo, I am a low key, nobody <laughs> who currently lives in Canada. That's it. I, I respect my place in the world. I've done some big things. I've met some very, very important, famous people. I've got to work with really big people, but you know, my space in the world is just low key and chill. And I accept that. I don't, I'm not worried about trying to impress people or trying to be larger than I am or, or even pretend like I'm a more famous DJ or uh, my skills are better than I think they are. Like I, I, that's pointless to me. I don't think that's useful. One thing that, that I think people have to keep in mind about the internet is that if you are not true to yourself, the internet is the worst place to pretend like you're somebody that you're not. You will be exposed and you'll be embarrassed. That's why I've always been like, this is me. <laughs> this is who I am. This is my skill level. This is the gear I actually own. This is the gear I've used and I talk about. I don't think that trying to pretend like you're bigger than you are is of any value to your life, long term or short term. And it's definitely a thing that people have to keep in mind because a lot of people are trying to live this magical life. I, I love that there's this Instagram post of this guy. He's sitting next to his TV. And he's holding up the toilet seat to make it look like an airplane window. And he's he has like he's living his best life or whatever. He's got like champagne. And then you can just pull back a little bit and you see that like, this guy's holding up a toilet seat. And that couldn't be a greater metaphor for what is social media. Outside of YouTube, I would miss any of this stuff. <laughs> it is probably more harmful than it is helpful to people's lives 
But uh, yeah, I would like to know what you guys think about this. So let me know. If you'd like to support the channel, you could buy something from my t-shirt shop. That's djkeo.store. I simplified the address and made it easier to find. As well as you can buy something from Instagram, djkeo underscore. Uh, my store is there as well as on my website. I appreciate everybody who supported the channel through the years and got new designs and new stuff is coming soon. Link is in the description as always. And I thank you for watching and uh, peace out, bitches.